This is the Mobicool 45 liter, 12 volt, 110 volt thermoelectric cooler. Cooling whatever internally down to a temperature 20 degrees Celsius below ambient temperature. So it's got a 12 volt plug and it also comes with this adapter that allows you to hook up to 110 volt. And so basically when you plug it in, you have the option between switching between uh, cool and heat. And what it does uh, when you have it on cool is it has some fans that are going and it's got a heat sink in here and basically what it's going to do is it's trying to drop the temperature compared to the ambient temperature. So when it's running only on 12 volt, it draws about four amps per hour. Um, and if you've got it running through the adapter, it draws about five amps per hour. This is not horrible, but it's not great. If you're looking for a solution when you're out camping, I would say at best it's okay. You would need a big bank of batteries to be able to go for an entire weekend drawing four amps per hour. Because this thing, it, uh, it doesn't have the capability of setting a temperature. What I'd like to do is hook up an ammeter to record how much amperage the cooler is using and in line with that, hook up a temperature controller to be able to control whether the cooler is on or off depending on a temperature that I have set. So the first thing I'm going to try is I'm just going to put the ammeter in line with the power cord and see if it actually uh, tracks the amount of amperage that's being used. So this is the end that's going to be plugged in to either the 12 volt uh, cigarette plug or into the adapter. So that's going to feed into the DC in on the ammeter. saying that we are 11.91 volts it's drawing 4.1817 amps power uh, here is uh, showing it in watts uh, conversion is uh, 12 volts 12 to 1 and then the energy down here um, will show how much in total is consumed over, over time. Okay, so this is showing us what I expected to see about four amps per hour that the cooler is drawing. So next order of business is we'll take the temperature controller and then hook it up as the output the ammeter and then have the output from the ammeter um, that we currently have tie it to the output of the temperature controller and then see if that works. So just 
just for the temporary purposes here, I'm just going to use electrical tape to hook these wires up. Okay, we're wired up. happens when we plug it in. Okay. So the controller uh, is, I guess, defaults to run at uh, some temperature. <laughs> Whatever it's set to right now, it's it's set to run. So I'm going to have to go and set my limits on this to uh, turn it on. Um, but so far so good. The wiring looks like it's done correctly. My amp meter is still up and going, and so is the temperature controller. So next order of business is set the limits on the temperature controller. So let's test this. I'll take the probe and put it in the cooler. And let's set the shut off temperature a little bit higher. So let's set it for 15 degrees. So if this guy cools down to 15 degrees, then this should shut off. Fifteen point one. So very shortly, this should be turning to fifteen degrees Celsius. And once it does that, that's the uh, range that we set on the temperature control. This whole thing will shut off. Let's see. So I think I understand this now, maybe. So 14.3 now I have set as the lower limit. That's when it's to shut off. And 15 is when it's going to turn back on again. 
So that gives you a little bit of range, so it's not constantly turning on and turning off. So, my guess is what's going to happen is that when it hits 14.3, it'll shut off. And then as it warms up, back up to 15 degrees again, that's when it'll turn itself back on again. So we're at 14.4 degrees Celsius, and the lower limit we have set is 14.3. So what should happen is when this turns to 14.3, it should stop sending power to the cooler, fan should shut off, and our ammeter should be reading zero current drawn. Well, it's at 14.3, and then it didn't shut off. Have to be below 14.3. That's what it is. So it hit 14.2 and then it shut off. And so the current right now uh, has gone from 3.9 down to 0 0.05, which I assume is what this temperature controller draws. So it's sitting at 14.2 degrees Celsius right now. It's past the lower limit, it's shut the cooler off. And so what then should happen, because we have the upper limit set at 15 degrees Celsius, is that as the cooler warms back up again, once it passes uh, 15 degrees Celsius, it should turn back on again. So an easy way for me to do that would be pop cooler open. Fourteen point nine. So as soon as it turns fifteen, it should turn back on again. We'll see. And there it goes. So that's a pretty cool way to basically build a thermostat into one of these kind of coolers is uh, just put, you really only need the temperature controller in line. I like to have the ammeter there because it tracks the amount of energy total that um, this would use. So that's kind of good information that uh, you'd like to have over a weekend just to see how much uh, this would consume. So if this was just running without the temperature controller, it would be using 4 amps per hour. And um, for 24 hours, that's basically 100 amp hours, which is, that would almost completely flatten most 12 volt uh, deep cycle batteries. So that's pretty tough for just a cooler. So I've got 230 amp hours uh, on two six volts. And so that would last two days before flattening it, two and a half, but you don't want to flatten your, your deep cycle batteries. You really only want to run them down to 50%. So having something like this in place actually would make this an option for keeping it plugged in at all times. If you put something in there, a big chunk of ice or something like that, or a four liter water bottle frozen, it could maintain the temperature range that you're looking for just by turning on, you know, maybe every couple of hours. So here we go, we're at 14.3 again. We have 14.2 as our, uh, as our number that it's going to shut itself off at, 14.3 being the lower limit we set. 
So as soon as this shutter uh, hits 14.2, it should shut right off. So that worked out pretty well. Move my adapter out. We'll see how it kind of looks. It's basically one cord in line. Your 12 volt hookup. The hookup thing is going to go into your. mount this in some sort of little box there's even an option here that I could in theory mount these inside of this little carrying hole I'll have to give that some thought but uh, that's a pretty slick way of making this thing a little bit more useful so I'll put the link description for the temperature controller I used and the ammeter that I used. I got them both off of Amazon. They, neither was very expensive, maybe $20 each. And uh, yeah, if you got one of these, it's a pretty slick idea if you ask me.